What's good, y'all? John D. Saunders here. I hope all is well. In today's video, I'm showing you the specific paid tools we use every month to run a remote branding and web design studio. Let's dive in. Before I dive into my computer, y'all, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps people find more quality content like this. All right, y'all, so I've got my phone up here, and I just want to walk through the tools that I use. So one, there's actually a free app called Truebill that you can download, and it'll aggregate all your bills. You just add your credit cards or different cards that you have that are part of your business. So specify this based on your business. And what it'll do is it'll aggregate all those and tell you the subscription dates, when things are coming out, what's due. It'll even give you an accrual of everything, of all your subscriptions for one year and the tools that you use on a monthly basis. So what I wanted to do was kind of just go through these different um, tools here that we use in the business. So for a quick overview, what I like to do is go into True Blue, uh, True Bill, sorry, and I'll go through it and just check out this content. So for example, I can go here and I can see, okay, well, I know on the 4th, I've got the Squadcast podcast uh, subscription coming out. I know I've got Zoom, Flywheel. We still have some some grandfathered WordPress sites that we still work on. You know, his coxes are business insurance, Adobe Creative Cloud, which is actually should be removed because we've migrated a lot of our efforts to Webflow, you know, the business lines, all of the assets and tools that we're using as a part of the business are aggregated here. So this can provide you with an overall view of the tools that you're using each month, what you're spending on those subscriptions. And what I'll do every quarter is I'll go through all these transactions and I'll say, okay, where can we trim the fat? Where are things that we can get rid of that we're not necessarily using? Now, what I like to do also is just hit all. When I hit all, it'll show me all the subscriptions that we have for the year segmented by type. So for the business, we have Hootsuite, FreshBooks, you know, normal stuff, GoDaddy, LogMeIn, which is LastPass, the, the password protection tool that we use. And so it's it's really, when you run a remote agency, it's a lot easier to run these subscriptions because a lot of these services do have free versions. And I'm able to see all of my active subscriptions here. Now, I do want to show you some of those tools also. So let me close this out. I'm going to open up my browser here so y'all can see what I'm talking about and just go over some of these monthly tools that we uh, that we use in the business. So let me pull this up here. So one, of course, Zoom is what we use for video conferencing with clients, with team members. Uh, we pay about 15 bucks a month for this. Then we also have Flywheel. So we have about six or seven WordPress clients that we've had for a very long time that are still hosted through Flywheel. I like Flywheel because we're host able to host those sites and then the team at Flywheel will update the plugins, make sure sites are working properly and send us any issues that we might have. Also, uh, it's also important to have business insurance as a business owner and you grow your efforts. You want to make sure you protect yourself and your team. Uh, Hiscox is great for small business. Next Insurance is another one that works really well. Zapier for all of our third party integrations. We use this to connect apps and automate workflows. FreshBooks, as you know, this is our, our accounting software. We have a CPA on our team that does our bookkeeping, but I like to watch and see these transactions come in from FreshBooks. It's also easy for me to track with the team, and we're also able to send invoices and get them paid via clients using FreshBooks. Also, uh, for my online courses and items, yeah, it's funny. I'm on the homepage of Podi, which is amazing. Uh, their their platform is really, really cool. Um, we use it for digital downloads, online courses. This one I'm paying about 75 bucks a month for. Let me go back. FreshBooks, I'm paying about 75 months, bucks a month. Zapier, we're paying a few hundred just because we do a lot of zaps for our clients and we're hosting their website. So we're paying around 300 bucks for Zapier. Uh, for Hiscox, we're paying about 150 I think 175 per month. Flywheel, we're paying about 250 per month. And Zoom, we're paying about 15 bucks. Now, don't let this seem daunting if you're a smaller agency. A lot of these tools you don't need. For Hiscox, you, you can probably get a smaller premium for less than 100 bucks. Zapier, you might end up spending between 20 and 30. So this is all scaled on based on your agency's revenue. Uh, Webflow is our hosting. So we host about 40 clients uh, and they pay us a monthly fee. We update their blogs. We make sure their websites are up to date. Great thing about Webflow is they're pretty low maintenance, so we're really just doing like new pages, new content for their site based on um, what's needed. For Slack, and this is so funny, with Slack, we actually just started paying for Slack. Uh, we were using the free version for a very long time, but since we have other agency clients that we collaborate with, we do need the paid version to be able to bring them into our platform. 
Uh, MailChimp is another one we use. This is a great tool, especially uh, for up and coming agencies. It's free up to, I think, 2,500 uh, subscribers. Let me make sure because I know the pricing structure has changed. So again, yeah. So here it's free. You have up to, um, it doesn't even say how many subscribers, but I'm sure, pretty sure it's around 2,500. So this is another tool we pay with. Now we do pay 350 bucks a month for MailChimp because we do have almost 40,000 subscribers. So that's probably one of our higher tier um, monthly subscriptions. Also deal, this is for our international team. This is a tool that we use. We only pay for it when we pay out our team members. So we pay about 50 per transaction uh, per team member and we pay out on a biweekly basis. So. Um, and again, our team is solid, small, and cohesive. For stateside employees, we use Gusto for managing our HR and team members. Figma is another tool that we use. This is our prototyping tool that we design efforts in for clients. We're spending about 60 bucks here. Um, and then of course we have Notion, which manages our knowledge base. We have all of our client details and information here. So um, I do wanna bring up my phone again, cause this is gonna give you an overview of what we're spending on here. So if I bring that down, I'm gonna bring this down also. I'm gonna bring QuickTime back up so we can take a look at that, as you can see here. So yeah, so if you sign up for Truebill, add your specific cards that tailor to your business. It'll have your subscriptions here. So we're spending about 5,100 a year on our subscriptions. Um, that doesn't include like team member payouts and and and, um, and compensation. So I, I always recommend agency owners, especially as you're building your agency, you probably already have an accounting software. You probably have a CPA that's doing your bookkeeping. It's a great idea to add your subscriptions or your accounts in here so you can keep track of what's going on and be able to trim the fat. Because I've saved thousands literally by going through this each quarter. I go to my calendar, I add it, and I say, hey, this is the day I'm gonna spend two hours just going through all of our tools to make sure that we're up to par and that we're not paying for any tools that we might not necessarily need. Again, hope this was a help, y'all. Thank you all for checking out the content. Again, it's always a pleasure. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and drop us a like. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.